Hey everyone, it is Silly Man here. Today I will be showing you how to give the player plus one speed every second. So let's get started. I'm going to start by inserting a script into service script service. I'll just call this speed every second. We're going to start with game dot players dot player added connect function player. And then we're going to create leader stats that way uh, the speed value will show up on the leaderboard on the top right of the player's screen. So local leader stats equals instance dot new folder leader stats dot name. Make sure you capitalize that equals leader stats. And this must be spelled exactly with every uh, letter being lowercase. Otherwise it won't work. Then leader stats dot parent equals player. Then next we're going to create the speed value. So local speed value equals instance dot new int value. And then speed value dot name equals speed. And speed value dot value. I'll set the default value to one. And then speed value dot parent equals leader stats. Now if I hit play, it will show up here. There we go. So speed is currently one. Of course, that doesn't reflect our character yet because we haven't coded that part. So to make it reflect our character speed, we're going to say player dot character added connect function. And I'm going to type character here. So that's the character object. I'm going to write task dot wait. This will just prevent glitches with the character added event. And below that, we're going to say character wait for child humanoid dot walk speed equals speed value dot value that way uh, the character speed will match the value here so right now if I try moving you can see that my speed is very slow that's because it's set to one here and then I'm also going to create an event for when the speed value is changed whenever it does that it will update the character's speed as well and this is different from this because this only updates it when the character is added so I'm going to say speed value dot changed connect function local character equals player dot character. And then I'm going to say if character then because we need to make sure that the character exists because if the player is respawning, then the character might not exist. And same if they fell off the world, uh, their character will probably not exist then. So we need to make sure. And then local humanoid equals character line for child humanoid if humanoid then humanoid dot walk speed equals speed value dot value and then next we're going to write code that will increase the player's speed by one every second so i'm going to go to the bottom here and we'll do while player dot parent so this will run until the player has left the game do and then to update the player speed by one we're going to say speed value dot value plus equals one but above that i'm also going to add task dot wait one that way it waits a second before increasing the speed and then it will continuously do this so every second it will increase speed value by one so if i hit play now as you can see my speed is going up every second and it looks like i am getting a little bit faster yep all right, so one more thing I'm going to do is also add a label here, as many of these type of games will have a label indicating the player's speed, because if you're on mobile, then this leaderboard might not actually show up since it's a smaller screen. So let's do that. I'm going to insert a screen GUI inside of starter GUI, and then a text label inside of that. Then I'm going to resize it. So let's just do 0.50, then 0.1 maybe. I think it's a little bit too big. Let's do 0.07 Then center it horizontally. So 0.5 to the position here and the anchor point 0 0.50. Just going to move this down a little bit and then resize the text. I'll just make this say speed one. I'll make the text white and add a stroke to it. And then set the transparency, the background transparency to one. And we'll get a better font for this. Okay, and I'll also make the text red, I guess. Let's make the stroke a little bit thicker, actually. So let's change this back to one. I'm going to insert a UI stroke. 
So we'll allow for thicker strokes. Change the thickness to two. All right, I think that looks good. I'm just gonna call this speed label. All right, then I'm gonna insert a local script inside of this. So we need to update the speed whenever the speed value value here is changed. So I'll call this script update speed. So let's reference the label, so local label. I'll just call it speed label equal script dot parent because the script is inside of the label. So we just say script dot parent to get the label. Then make a variable for the player. Local player equals game dot players dot local player. And then we need to get the speed value. So that's going to be player wait for child leader stats wait for child speed. And then whenever the speed value is updated, we want to update the text here. So speed value dot changed connect function speed label dot text equals speed colon and then two dots that will combine this part of the string with whatever we write here. And here is just going to be the speed value dot value. That way it will say speed and then a number. Then I'm going to copy and paste this below. That way this will update it when the player first joins. All right, and I think that's all. Uh, so one more thing actually is we want to go over to the screen GUI and turn on ignore GUI inset. This will just prevent weird offsets on mobile devices when there's text on top of the screen. And I'm going to turn off reset on spawn so that this doesn't reset whenever the player respawns. All right, so if I hit play now, so as you can see, uh, these two are synced. So whenever this changes, this also changes. And my character speed also changes as well. So I'm just going to wait for a little bit until this goes up. All right, so my speed is now over 50. So now if I move, you can see that I'm a lot faster. And that is how you add a plus one speed every second script to your Roblox game. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like. And I will see you all in the next video.